Tire defect cases are maybe the hardest to understand. They are so prevalent, but people don't know it. Most people, when they've had a tire defect that's occurred that causes an accident, they think they've had a blowout. And so many times when these cars roll over multiple times and they're totally destroyed, they go to a junkyard and get sold off as scrap or they get crushed long before an attorney that knows what they're doing can look at it and forensically assess what caused the accident. In a tire defect case, time is critical. And the reason why is because evidence disappears quickly. If you have been in an accident where your car has rolled over and it didn't strike anything, there's a pretty good chance that it could be a tire defect. So it would be good advice not to allow your insurance company to pay you for that vehicle and dispose of it until you've had a chance for the Kose Law Firm to investigate and determine whether or not the cause of this was truly a tire defect. Since 2005, I've been handling tire defect cases with regularity. And what makes us uniquely qualified to handle them is the understanding of why they fail, how they fail, and the injuries that that failure produces. When I had my very first case, I actually attended tire school. I went to a facility with other tire engineers to understand how tires were made, what kind of components keep them together, and why they fail. 